Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Empire in the Soul Mod, where we are trying to do a World Conquest series and destroy the rest of the sick men of the world, which is basically everyone else but us. So guys, today's episode, and by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, we are about four, two days ahead of where we were supposed to be. Um, basically, my game started to lag a little bit more than it's, than usual, and so what happened was is that. For me to actually play this, I had to wait until the entire game reset and so that all the like spheres of like the British Empire went away. So yeah, that's the only reason why I went about two days ahead was I had to wait till like the game calculate and recalibrate everything to where the British are now dead. Okay? Okay. So anyways guys, today what we are going to be doing is we are going to be planning our future. Because as you guys know, we are approaching the end of the game. We have less we have about 30 years left and Honestly, there's still a lot I want to do in this. <laughs> like, let's be real here. I still got to conquer the entire world, and I still have to do a lot more other things. So what we're gonna have to do is gonna have to kick. We're gonna have to kick out the rest of the European powers that can possibly take me on, and then we're basically golden. Cause the last three p. Okay, the last three powers that could take me on are France, China, Japan. Well, actually, I guess it's four. And the United States. Those three powers are the last three that could possibly take me on. Once those guys are gone, I'm basically home free. <laughs> like, there is going to be no one that could take me on after that. So, what we have to do is we have to start planning on taking these guys out very, very soon. Because if we get these guys out, we basically can just go destroy the, all the little other states very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. So... One thing that I'm going to note is, first, we're going to have to finish up this war because Punjab is going to be stubborn and want to be like, Yeah, we can totally win this war! We can totally win! Oh, Punjab, you guys are such an idiot country. Uh, I'm only letting you guys live just because you guys were a catalyst because I thought I'd need you guys' land. So, yeah, just be lucky I don't need your land yet. I'll be coming back for it just later. So, anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting to plan, I think the first nation that we're going to be starting to go attack is the Chinese Empire. One, because the Chinese Empire was my most trusted ally, and then they did enter in a war, and now they are my least trusted ally. Plus, I feel like we do need to, I think I do agree with you guys' comments, we need to destroy these guys before they become a civilized nation. They could be causing me trouble if they, if they become anything else, so. We're going to start decreasing relationships with them. And uh, actually, wait, 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 it wasn't that, wait, wait, I have to remember my strategy here, because I did create a strategy. I'm not going to attack the Chinese Empire directly, because if I attack the Chinese Empire directly, I have to deal with all of these guys. And I don't really want to deal with all of China. So what I'm going to do is that we're just going to attack Da Nang, and then from there, we're going to attack China, and then vassalize them, and make them our little tiny uh, place of worship, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, that's basically going to be my plan. I'm going to reopen all the factories that need to be reopened. This is probably going to be the last time I'm going to reopen all these factories. In fact, the next time they all close, I'm just going to close them because there's no point. Uh, also, we have enough money now to just not have much taxes. But before we start doing that, I should probably get my education system up. Because, honestly, I've been neglecting my education system. Even though, through conquest, I've gotten to up to 50% literacy. So you know what? That's pretty dang good. We got the 50% literacy just by just through conquest. I feel pretty happy about that. Okay, Lithuania goes bankrupt. As long as Lithuania is still a part of my empire, I don't really care. Oh my goodness. No one's dealing with that, are they? Okay. Where's my armies? There's my armies. Okay, army. Go crush this rebellion. Okay. And speaking of armies, it's time to recruit new men! Oh man, I want you guys to see this before I start recruiting. So, I just looked at the map, and we have literally... I can make an entire new zone in India, an entire zone in Africa, um, an entire zone right about here, and maybe I can make two zones in, uh, in, uh, in this land over here. So, I am really psyched and pumped up for this. Oh man, oh man, this is so cool, this is so cool. We can make two new zones, and then another zone right here, and then the British zone right here. Oh, this is so cool! Okay, so I'll see you guys in a second when I created all these armies again, okay? Okay? Bye. Bye. 
Okay, that was a little bit longer than I expected. It took me a little bit to figure out how to get, like, England divided up into two different nodes, and it also took me a little bit to figure out how I'm going to do Russia, and it also took me a little bit to figure out how I'm going to do India, because now I, I kind of like having two nodes over here, so, yeah. But this, this is awesome now, people. We are producing mass quantities of men with semi-good training, so this is good. This is good. So, anyways, guys, the next part of my... Next, like I was just saying, we need to fight. We need to fight China as our next target. Um, we also need to get out of this stupid war over here. So, is there any armies I can go send? Yeah, hey, you guys, go crush these Punjab armies before they get the wrong idea and think they could actually win this. I know uh, Punjab. Will you guys just accept peace. I don't even care about this war goal. Seriously, you guys are not. You guys are puny enough for me not to care about you anymore. But I just need to go fight China. China is my main enemy. My main man. But, what I think I'm going to do, guys, I'm actually going to hold off the war with China just for a little bit. Not for very long, guys, just for a little bit. Because what I want to do quickly is I actually want to go conquer some of um, uh, South America. That way I can start building up the base so I can start getting up to uh, USA. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to form an alliance with our good friends, the uh, Brazilians. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly do a conquest against Venezuela. And... Once I get the conquest of Venezuela done, then maybe I'm going to go after um, Argentina, then Col then Peru, then Colombia. I'm just basically going to try to take over a lot of this region. But then after I'm done with that, then I'm going to go after the Nam. Once I go after the Nam, then I'm going to get China involved. China's going to try to fight us back. By that point, I'm hoping all the armies I created will all be done. That way we can just instantly just go demolish them. I mean, we're not just talking demolish, we're talking flat out no, no chance of them ever coming back at ever. Just, BAM, gone. So, that's what I'm thinking, guys. We're going to see if this all works. I'm not sure if this is going to work at all, but we're going to find out. Now that Venezuela is low enough, don't you dare get above 100%, Venezuela. If you get above 100%, thank you. Kaboom, explosions everywhere. Wah, ah, ah. Uh, the only risk, though, is that we do, uh, no, we're gonna have to wait until this war finishes, because it's too risky for me to, at least right now, it's still too risky for me to quite go over my infamy limit. It's just, it would ruin my plans, basically, and I don't really want to ruin my plans. So let's see, you guys, you guys go this way. Hey, Kokan, would you guys want out of this? No, you guys are a stubborn nation. I, seriously, if a nation this big was attacking me, do you really think I'd be fighting it? No. I'd be like, yeah, we're basically screwed. There's no point in fighting this war. We're basically not going to win this. Why are we still in this war? I have no idea. France is now coming in to go clean up the mess that they made. Because France is an awesome ally. It should be remembered as an awesome ally. Because they're an awesome ally. Okay, it seems like all these places are starting to collapse, like I said. I will, I will delete those factories, people. But I'm also going to give up. Oh, finally you guys are ready to give up. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever land I got, that was not worth it. Okay? Whatever land I just got, that was not worth it. Oh, uh, man. Okay, so now they got... Now we got a little bit more land up here. Let's go... Let's go with these little guy just so that I can feel better about myself. Let's see. Uh, Bremen would probably be a good good one to release. Let's see. You know what? Let's release Iceland. Because I'm honestly will never care about Iceland. I'm sorry, people who are from Iceland, but it's honestly an island that's out of the way and it would take me way too long to try to go siege or unsiege if the rebels spawn. So, Iceland, you get to be by yourself. Congratulations. You're your own independent country. And quote unquote, I put those in quotes independent country. And now let's go to Venezuela. Okay. Do a conquest, Cosbella, against you guys. And let's see. How. Brazil, you're mostly going to be my main driving force over there. Uh, but I actually have an army over here, I thought. Like, I actually have a decent-sized army. Oh, and there's Cuba! Cuba, my friends! Okay, let's see. Well, I don't actually have an army over there, but let's see. I should be able to get an army over there pretty quickly. Uh, by the way... Oh my goodness, we actually lost to Rebels. Oh my goodness, that was a kind of embarrassing moment there. Like, very embarrassing. So, delete... Balance these men. Okay, go send... By the way, go make sure you're not on the spawning ring, because I don't like it when men are on the spawning ring. And you guys, go over here, go crush these rebels before they go siege up all my land. 
or a siege of my land over here because I like these vassals. These are one of my favorite vassals. Even though my favorite vassal so far has been, uh, actually, yeah, they, this is, is my favorite vassals. Yeah, you guys will get to have my vassals and my favorite. Okay? Okay. Uh, oh, wait, Romania is a satellite of me. Good, Romania. You guys know how the pecking order works. I'm glad they realized what the pecking order is. And now I'm going to take a moment to go delete all my factories so you guys don't, so I'm going to cut away here just so you guys don't have to waste all your time watching this boring part. Okay? Okay, see you guys in a second. Okay, there we go, guys, and so now we're just going to fast forward it to the point where we can go to destroy Venezuela. Oh, man, and more factories just collapse. <laughs> okay, uh, you guys, what kind of army are you guys? Uh, they're good enough for what I need. Let's see, where are my ships? Where are my ships? Navies, right there. Where's the other one? Right over here, okay. You know what? Let's just go pick up this army right here since it's literally right there. And reform the Calcutta! No! They are all going to be mine. I literally have a population. Let's see. I want to know my population. My population is literally 97% not me. Okay, let's see. Turkish is only 3% of the accepted culture in the world. Okay. Literally, there's 97% of my entire empire that does not believe in me. So, in fact, I feel like I'm just a myth. Everyone's like, ooh, the Ottoman Empire. You know, you better put your bed. You better put... You better go to sleep early tonight, otherwise the Ottoman Empire will come and get you. Ooh. I don't know, something like that. I feel like I'm so big now and so, like, expansionary that people just are like, Huh, wonder what the Ottoman Empire actually are. Okay, I'm going to keep my soldiers right here in Riga. That way I make sure they do not die and they do not become a free nation. Because I don't mind, I do not mind yet if they become a free nation, but I can't let them. Because I still need, oh my goodness, Boxer Rebels! Oh, yay, the Boxer Rebellion's happening! Oh, please tell me. Oh, this is an outrage! Oh, no, I am so mad at the Boxer Rebellions are starting up and could potentially turn the Chinese Empire from this big, gigantic state into just this. Oh, man, it makes me so mad! It makes me so mad to the point where I want to declare war on the Chinese Empire! No. Oh, guys. Please, China, Blake. Please, China, make sure. Oh, you guys already crush your rebels. You guys are mean, but they're coming for us! They're coming for us! They're coming for us! Yes, they are! They're coming for us! They're coming for us! Those Venice friends, they, yes, they are! The uh, suffixes and pronouns did not go well with that song, but I really don't care enough to repeat it. So, let's see. What do I want to get? Well, I could get some more industry stuff, more banking stuff, more... I really don't need ships, because I'm pretty sure that ships are pretty much useless. What I actually want to get is actually more nationalism, because I actually do want to advance myself a little bit more in terms of that. Let's see, and we got mechanized mining, mechanized mining, mechanized mining, we're going to get some more mechanized mining. Kaboom! Oh yay, we got kaboom, I love kaboom. Jungles in Africa, we want more prestige, because at this point we really don't care about the rest of the people and what they think. Oh, and we're getting kind of big in terms of how many factories are collapsing, not quite enough for me to go stop yet. But let's see, let's go finish up the rest of our education. Yes, we're finally doing the most education. How much would it take our tariffs? Holy shit, we're actually getting a lot of tariffs if we just went one. Okay, and now we can actually start decreasing our our uh, taxes on our poor. So let's see, I think we could probably do 55, 6, no, probably still have to do about 57. Uh, 57, yeah, probably about 50, no, it's about 59. But no, 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 not 100%. Okay, 15, 59, there we go. We got to probably do 2%, uh, 1% tariffs. That way I start eliminating all the factories that aren't really good for my land. And 12.6, that's not too bad in terms of conquest. Let's see, who do I want to free now? Uh, don't, I just want a little tiny vessel. I don't want a big gigantic vessel. So, uh, let's see, I don't know if you guys have all created all your land yet. Uh, Shimla, no. Man, there's so many people I could release. It's like, it's almost like that old psychology thing. The more choices you have, the less satisfied with your choice you'll be. I feel like that right now. <laughs> Except with all these nations. Okay, let's just release this. I don't know if that's going to interfere with the actual... No, it won't, because I think that was created over here, so it's not going to interfere, but yeah. I feel like there's so many... Oh, no. 
No, don't you dare tell me you went to war with somebody I didn't want you to yet. Uh, Brazil, you had to wait just a little bit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Should I enter in now or should I enter in later? I'm probably just going to have to enter in now. And then as soon as we do this, we're just going to have to end this war very quickly. So, let's go do this. I'm going to go get the cause bell. I'm going to keep this war going until I am done with it. Okay, not until they're done with it, until I am ready to end the war. Okay, and let's see. We could probably conquer Ecuador too in this, but Ecuador is really tiny, and I don't really like really tiny vassals. It just annoyed the heck out of me. My army is almost here, which is good. You better not destroy my army, or otherwise I will destroy you. Okay, let's go start sending our troops over here. It should be relatively quick sieges from here on out. I mean, literally, it shouldn't take that long. Hopefully, we'll have our war justification not going. Does that mean I have to do an entire justification, add causes, bell, I, whatever you want to call it, onto them? I would be insanely mad about Brazilians after this point. In fact, to the point where I would never trust Brazil ever again. They're basically gold! I have too much gold in my land, actually, now that I think about it. My economy is just way too big for its own good. Let's go right here, start dividing up the men. I don't want my men to die. We also should probably bring over more men, because we're probably going to do much more conquests down here. So let's see. What's a good army we can go drag around? Someone from right over here, because this is really quick and simple to go get. Yeah, because this is literally across the sea. No, I'm not getting inf I'm not getting infamy for a little tiny thing, okay? I'm sorry, but I'm just not that type of person. Okay, now we have a lot of factories that just closed down. Uh, just close down, just close down, that's not a very good sign. Just close down, just close down, that's not a very good sign. Hey, let's go see, you guys go right here. Okay, this is going to be a really, really kind of silly invasion, but I really have to go do it because we have to go finish these guys off. But, let's see, do we have enough war score yet? Thank you, let's see, can we just, do I already have the war score? No, I don't. There we go, we got what I wanted into this. So once we're done with this, then we can go, like, do whatever. I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to do a peace deal separate from Ecuador. But I kinda knew that was gonna happen. I mean, Ecuador is kind of its own country, has its own set of laws, has its own set of rules. I mean, I kinda knew that they were going to be not very, uh, cooperative, if you would say so. Let's see you guys over here yet? Nah. You know, the only reason, no, I just saw this. The only reason why I would need to get ships is the fact I may want faster ships. That's the only reason why I might need it. Uh, China, you are way too stable of a nation. Wait. Wait. Oh my goodness. Did it happen? Oh my goodness. China moved. The Chinese Empire is no more. Oh, shoot. We gotta take advantage of this. We gotta take advantage of this. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay. Who do I want to be my ally over here? Okay, I need a big, powerful ally. Hey, you on? You guys don't like me. Okay, I need to find somebody that's semi-powerful so I can start using as my own little vassal so I can start... You guys are in the own, a different sphere, so you guys won't say yes. You know what? Why don't we just use the original China? Don't you guys still like me? Yes, you guys would like me. So, what we could do is that we could use the original China to go conquer the rest of this land. Hmm. Let's see. If we were to declare war on these guys, we would get... I don't want to drag too many of these guys in, so we have to start thinking of this. If we get, if we would use the original China, declare war on Yuan, we would have an opportunity to conquer Gunzai and right here. That way we'd have this land right here in a two-war prolonged thing. Okay, so let's start increasing. Never mind, people. We are reversing our plans. We're going to start increasing our relationship with China so that China likes us. Because right now, they're still a partially civilized nation. And don't worry, I could probably take them on. You know, I'm going to be putting them through constant warfare, so they should be able to die. At least some of their troops should be able to die. And let's see, all of our troops are being made, hopefully. I'm hopefully hoping that all the troops I made... Yeah, 189 troops all in one batch. I'm not, I don't really think that's a conserv... I think that's really just a conservative measure. I could probably go much more. But yeah, we're going to start sending more troops over there. Let's see, are you guys over here going to... You guys over here yet? No. Let's see, I should also keep my... Uh, Armies, man. Armies, man. It's starting to become really big. Occupations, Filipino, uh, rebel occupations. Don't really care, as long as it's not in the mainland. Just don't bug me on the mainland. Okay, and factory construction, let's turn that off. 
because I feel like that could become really big here soon. Okay, uh, merging points. I have a ton of merging points. But let's see. I need to know about my occupations. Okay, there we go. That's what I need to know. So then I'm going to be watching these guys over here go get the men. Because we definitely need the men. Excelente! Mechanized mining. Okay, lazy natives need to learn how to adapt. Okay, and we're almost done. There we go. Well, thank you guys for watching. I want to see you guys next time.